Hey, how's everybody doing? My name is Lex Hoop and I am back and welcome to another uh, how to fix tutorial slash me helping you scenario. Basically what it is, is I ha I got myself an Astro A40 and the only way to get to uh, 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound on this baby is to have Dolby Digital Live. And one of the first ways that was released onto the, you know, onto the interwebs of how to get Dolby Digital Live is going through this process that you had to have your windows in test mode, windows test mode. And in this version, um, I found out you didn't have to because BattleEye doesn't run with Windows test mode. There's a few anti-cheat softwares uh, that don't like Windows test mode. So I found this works and I actually uh, got it working and it works flawlessly. So just to show that I have Dolby Digital Live, let's uh, let's get into the, the, the video itself. So uh, this is my optical output that goes with the the headset and if you go over to to the uh, default format this page here itself doesn't show up unless you go through this process and then you can pick Dolby Digital Live and that's how you get set up with it so we're going to go through the f uh, few steps here first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into your control panel and you're going to have to uh, go into your programs and features and you're going to have to delete real tech this one right here so right click uninstall Go to the un uninstall process. It'll ask you to restart your computer. You're, you're going to have to do so. So after you uninstall uh, this Realtek um, high definition audio driver, then you're going to want to go to uh, Realtek's website. And for being so dominant in in the sound industry, I'm shocked that they have such a shitty website. But this is their this is their website. It looks nice, but for some reason it doesn't like open up full screen. I digress. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to download um, the new driver to install. Now the newest one is uh, 2.79 and um, R2.79 and I got it working with this and you're going to want to download this one here, right? It's basically it's a zip file so that has all the programs in it. If you just download one of these two, what it'll do is it'll give you just an, an executable file that for you to download and, and install or to install the, the uh, Realtek Dolby Digital Live. But if you download these, it actually gives you the entire folder and you're gonna be needing to switch out um, one file to get it to work. So you go here and you go to global and you're gonna download this one here. It's gonna ask you to save it. I've already downloaded it and it's uh, 0006, Windows 7, 8, 8.1, Windows 10, R, 279 zipped to zip folder and you're going to get um, you're going to be getting this file oh my god there we go you're going to be getting this file once you it's going to come uh, extracted or it's going to become um, zipped so you're going to have to extract it I extracted it to my desktop because after you do go through the, uh, the install little it won't be a necessary folder anymore so once you download this folder you're gonna have the setup run but you're not gonna run the setup once you have it uninstalled and your computer has been restarted what you're gonna want to do is you have to then you have to go to this link here and you're gonna have to download um, another file and it's a dot DLL file so once you download that file which also put all the links in the description obviously so I'll put the Realtek website link in the description and then I'll put this link in the description and you download this file and this file is this one here, this .dll file. So once you've downloaded this, then you're going to need to basically copy or you can cut, doesn't matter. You're going to be swapping out in the 64-bit Vista. I know it sounds stupid that it's Windows Vista, but it's basically the Windows setup for 7, 8, all the other ones, they it refers back to these folders depending on the sound uh, that you have. So once you're in here, you need to find the, if you actually just paste it right in here, it'll say, hey, do you want to replace this file? You want to say yes. Once you've replaced the file, the folder is actually ready to go and you'll be able to actually run the setup. But you have to do a few things. This is another link I'm going to put in the in the description, and these are the steps that you're going to be needing to 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 go through. 
So you have to turn Windows test mode on. How you do that is you go to your search menu and you type in CMD. And once you get the CMD, right click, run as administrator, say yes. And you have to type in B C D E D I T space dash set space uh, capitals T S T test signing on. Once you click that and you press enter, it'll say it went, went through successfully. And then you'll have to restart your computer. Once you restart your computer, that's when you go back into this folder, run the setup, you run through the setup. And once the setup is completely installed, it'll ask you to restart your computer. But before you restart your computer, you're going to want to go to reg edit in your start menu. Reg edit. Okay. And you want to right click on that, run that as administrator as well. And this is the, uh, the, this was the difficult part for me. So you got to go, it's going to, it's going to open up kind of like this, right? So these are the ones that you want to find and you want to find, um, H key local machine, which is this one, open that. And then you want to go down to software, just like this guy said. So I'm going to move this off screen. So you go down to software and then you go down to uh, Microsoft, which is this one here. And then once you get into open up the Microsoft, then you open up um, Windows. So you scroll down to you hit Windows. Just regular windows. There's a few different windows ones. There's a, there's a whole bunch of ones, just the plain windows. Open that up. You're going to get this. You have to go then to uh, current version. Right? So it'll look like this. You find current version. It's the very top one. And then you are all going to go into audio. Audio is just a folder now. There's no more download things. So you click on this. Now you're going to have to right click, right? All right, hold on. Let me see if I can downsize this so we can all, all read the, 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 what you have to do. So you have to right click, you have to add this. So you right click, add new. You want to add a D word, 32 bit value, D word, 32 bit value. So you're going to be adding this. You're going to type in this sentence, this right here. So it's dis disable with a capital D protected with a capital P I'm doing the backwards a capital a for audio capital D G so you type that in it'll look like this All right, I'm going to delete this because you don't need it because I've already made mine so once you've added this then you have to um, you'll press by pressing enter on it it'll bring up this and you'll have to change it to decimal and the value of one. And once you get that running, it'll change this value to one because it'll say zero, zero, zero and all zeros. And then once you change it to the value of one, then it'll, it'll, you know, start working. And then after you get that working, then you have to turn off windows test mode, restart your computer. And then after you restart your computer, when you bring up this here, and you go into your optical output, right? Cause you can have the, there's different ones you can have. Like this one's like a norm. This is how it kind of would normally look. And there's this one. And you want to go to your optical output, which is feeds your headset. I'm assuming you're doing this for the same reason I did. And you go into uh, your default format and you can then pick between 5.1 DTS 5.1. Um, but you want Dolby Digital Live for it to work with your headset. And um, that's everything. I hope you guys understood that. If not, you know, watch it again. And uh, and you can go to these links and they will, they will uh, this one link, it'll help you actually get through it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lex Coop saying rate, comment, subscribe. Do you do skadoosh? Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Hoop and I am back and I have a quick uh, three fixes to fix your H1Z1 from not launching. When you launch H1Z1, 
there will be a little um, notification popping up saying that there's something that is not initializing. And I'm just going to show you guys the three different ways that you guys can fix this.